Good morning children. This is Jai C. Benoy, your SST teacher. We are going to today start with chapter 3, Rotation and Revolution. I know it was Sunday yesterday and I hope you all had a very nice time. And now geared up to study the lessons. Alright. So let us start with chapter 3, Rotation and Revolution. Now in the previous chapter we had studied about latitudes and longitudes. Today we are going to study about the movements of the earth. What are we going to study about? We are going to study about movement of the earth and in specific the rotation of the earth. So we are going to study about rotation of the earth. Okay. Now as you can you see this image? Okay. What does it show? It shows the spinning wheel that you must have seen in playgrounds. Hai na? And uh, what happens with this game? You rotate, you turn it round and round and then when it starts moving at a faster pace, you climb onto it on the platform and you can also spin along with a wheel, correct? So what is happening in this uh, in this game? What happens is that it goes round and round itself, hai na? the wheel. I'm sure you must have seen this. Hai na? This is a top. What is this? This is that toy which you spin and place it onto the ground and it goes round and round around itself on a specific point hai na? so that is the top if you still have not understood then you can all you must have also seen those players spinning the basketballs on their fingers have you seen that that the player places or even some of you might be doing it you place the ball on the on your finger and you turn it and you spin it on your finger and it goes round and round as if on an imaginary axis and this imaginary axis coincides with a finger at the bottom okay so this is the similar movement that happens with the earth okay the earth also rotates around itself okay on its axis this axis of the earth is an imaginary line that passes from the straight line that passes from the north pole to the south pole okay through the center of the earth can you see this line? Is this real? No, you cannot see this line. You cannot feel this line. Okay. But how do we know it is there? Because the earth rotates around its axis. Okay. So now in this image, you can see the black line. <coughs> Sorry. You can see the black line, which is passing through the center of the earth. That is the axis of the earth. Okay. What is that? That is the axis of the earth that black line of the axis of the earth passing through the north pole to the south pole and that arrow which is pointing in the picture shows you the direction in which the earth is spinning okay so the earth is spinning around itself on the axis okay what is the axis of the earth it is an imaginary line that passes from the stra straight from the center of the earth from the north pole to the south pole okay now is this line straight is it going straight like if you had the ball and you keep it straight will you, is it going straight no it is a little slanting you know it, the line is a little slanting correct so we can see this is the the straight line would pass through the dotted line okay but is our line going is our axis the earth's axis going through the dotted line no so where is it going from it is going from the from a little tilt <coughs> It is a slanting line, the slanting line which you can see in red. Okay, it is passing through the pink doodle on top, the north pole and the south pole at the bottom. Okay, but it is not a, it is not a straight line, the straight dotted line. It's not that. It is the tilted line, the red line which is passing through the north pole and the south pole. Now, if you place a protractor between the center of the earth and this angle, it will create a 23 and a half degree angle okay so the tilt the ax the earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degrees okay from the center of the earth okay and the earth takes 24 hours to complete a single rotation around its axis how much time does it take 24 hours that is one day the earth takes 24 hours one day to complete its rotation around its axis okay so we are going to stop here just let's do a quick recap the earth moves in two ways okay the earth's rotation the movement of the earth there are two movements of the earth the rotation and the 
revolution rotation refers to the spinning movement of the earth around its own axis okay so we have seen today about rotation the earth rotates around its axis which is an imaginary line passing from the north pole to the south pole from the center of the earth now this axis is not straight but it is a slanting line which is tilted at an angle of 23 and a half degrees okay from the center of the earth and it takes the earth one day or 24 hours to complete one single rotation around its axis i hope you all have understood this much please go through the video once again to understand the concept better we will continue with this chapter in the next video bye